Hey guys, pro fisherman Tom Reddington here, and I'm gonna show you how to catch smallmouth bass in rivers. In addition, I'll show you top retrieves and current to catch fish, and if you stick around, I'm gonna show you the best locations to catch smallmouth bass in rivers. So here we go. <laughs> Now the first thing you have to decide is how you're going to present your lure. The main thing on streams is current, right? Behind me, over my back, the water's coming downhill, it's coming towards me. I can fish it one of three ways. One, the fish kind of look into the current, so they're facing upstream like that. They're waiting a lot of times for bait to come to them. So a lot of times the first thing I'll try is I'll cast upstream and bring my bait straight down towards them. That if, if I'm a fish and I'm looking at the current, I'm watching that bait come towards me. That's a really natural presentation. You don't have to do a whole lot. Just cast directly upstream, let your bait float down, just kind of reel with the current. It looks natural to the fish. Now the other way, I can throw against the current. I can throw downstream, and that current's going to push hard against my bait. Instead of me having to reel really fast, it's going to hold my bait kind of in place. And if I have a tail spinner, uh, like an inline spinner, like a MEPS or something, or if I have a little swim baits, any of that, I can fish it really slowly and I can just reel a little bit. So I'll cast it out and kind of just flick my rod a little bit. And my bait's down there in the current just holding still, but I'll reel just a little bit. And that holds it in front of the fish for a long time. If I come with the current, it's going to wash by really fast. If I'm going against it, I can work it really slowly and leave it in front of his nose for a long time. Sometimes that slow presentation is better. If they're active, I'll go with it but if they're slower, I'm gonna work it against it. Now here's the third one, and this is probably my favorite. It's a mix of both. And it's basically, you just drift cast. I'll throw, if the stream is going this way, I'll throw upstream just a little bit, I'll hold my rod tip high, and I'm gonna have my bait drift down with the current. So here's the drift cast. Throw it across at a 45 degree angle, hold my rod tip high, and let it drift down to the fish. I'll reel just a little bit to keep it up off the bottom. Throw it out. Rod tip up, and look at that. <laughs> hey, I told you the drift cast works well. What do we have here? Another small mouth. Hey, the drift cast, the key to this is I get to sweep it right down to the fish. It looks natural. It comes right to their face. What? Yeah. He says it works pretty well. It looked natural to him. Let's get him back. Now, current's the key on streams. And anything that stops the current, diverts it, breaks it, that's where the fish are going to sit. So what am I looking for? I'll look for, like over my shoulder, you see a rapids there. A rapids just where it gets really shallow. Once it comes out of that, it gets deep again, so it's going to be slower moving water. Anywhere where that fast current meets slow is good. So the start of a rapids, the end of a rapids. You see some big rocks and boulders in the water, little riffles behind me. That breaks up the current. The fish sit right behind that and hide. Same thing if any logs are in the current or laying in the current, that's good. And we're shallow water, we're standing, so I'm knee deep here. On the other side, it's about waist deep, it's a little deeper. Where it goes from shallow to deep is good. Basically anything that's irregular. If it's just a straight section of stream, no bends or anything, no depth change, it's all the same current, probably not that good. If you get a big bend, that's good, that's really good, the bends are great. The start of a rapids, the end of it, that's great. Lots of big boulders or trees in the water, that's good. Anything that's going to break that current, make it a little bit different, or turn it, that's what I'm looking for. And hey, and those turns, turns are key. The outside, outside of the turn is where the current is faster. That's where the deep water is. On the inside, it's slower and shallower, right where those two meet. And you can see it on the surface where the bubbles are going really fast and where they start going slow. That little seam right there, that's key. So decide if the fish want it upstream, downstream, or adrift and then throw it anything where the fast current meets shallow water and slow moving water. That's where you're gonna find your fish. Oh man, good one. Whoa. <laughs> hey, we're fishing right at the end of the rapids, right? Rapids right above me, and this is where deeper water comes in. We're right on the edge of that fast and slow water, and that's a good river smallmouth right there, a little stream one. <laughs> that's a good river small. You can see right behind me, the rapids is right there, and we're right where it stops. Where that grass is growing over there, it's kind of slower water. See real fast water right here. That's where this guy's living. Let him go back. Hey, like I said, top of those rapids, bottom of the rapids, 
Slow means fast. Find the big bass.